remember that, most, that almost every new concept was ridiculed, rejected, and laughed at when it was first introduced, especially by the experts of the times. All new ideas for social betterment, including women's rights, black rights, child labor, have always been met with great resistance. For instance, during the time of the Wright brothers, the distinguished scientists of the day were writing books proclaiming why man can't fly. The Wright brothers didn't read their books and went right ahead and built the flying machine. When science is applied with human and environmental concern to the way we live, we could easily create abundance for all. We will eventually understand that most criminals that fill our jails are a result of the need to acquire money and property in an age of often contrived scarcity of the monetary system. Children will look back and wonder why we couldn't see the limitations of this offensive system. Being civilized is an ongoing process. There are no utopias and no final frontiers. All things change and are in a continuous process of social, social evolution. Those countries that try and freeze things and keep things as they are will be surpassed. Thank you. one another. I'm going to try to prove it to you. Sometimes a person says, have a nice weekend. Why don't they say, have a nice life? Why just a weekend? <laughs> because you live in a world where language was designed without real meaning. Another proof of that. When you open the Bible, your friend says, this is what Jesus meant. Another person says, you're wrong. He meant that. And the third person says, you're both wrong. This is what he really meant. That's why you have the Lutheran, the Seventh-day Adventist, the Catholic, because the Bible is subject to interpretation. So is all language. When you talk to somebody, they really don't hear what you say. It goes into their head, gets messed around, and comes out a little different. Is it possible now to develop a language that's not subject to interpretation. Yes, it is. Mathematics, chemistry, when a chemist writes a formula, if it goes to Japan or Germany, it's not subject to interpretation. Engineering standards, when engineers talk to each other, they don't say, believe me, this is the strongest material made. They talk about its torsional strength, compression strength, tension strength, and they understand each other. When the bridge engineers talk to each other, one doesn't say, I think the beams are this size, another one says, no, they're that size. You couldn't build bridges if the language was subject to interpretation. Our world, now this is because I respect the women here, <laughs> is full of shit as a Christmas turkey. <laughs> I talk to women as equals, I don't pull my punches. I want you to understand, today, when a lady drops a pie, she says, fiddly dee. A guy says, shit, that means, sorry, I dropped the pie. That's all. There's no bad words. When a person says, bullshit, it means I can't accept what you're saying. It has nothing to do with the shit of a bull. <laughs> now, if you understand what I'm talking about, if you want to be honest with things, 
they say honesty is the best policy. Then when your children come up to you and they say, Mommy, where do babies come from? She says, the stork brings them. That's a lie. And on Santa Claus Day, they say Santa Claus brings you everything. Well, really, the parents and the relatives bring kids things they want them to have. But you start lying to kids, and in the States we have a tremendous lie called the Mickey Mouse Club. Imagine giving kids that kind of a notion of a Mickey Mouse worshipping a rat. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that the world you live in is as full of shit as a Christmas turkey. All nations, all nations lie. Now, people think, well, some nations are good. My country, America, where do you think they got the land? They stole it from the Indians. They killed thousands of Indians, Americans, and they starved, they killed 50 million buffalo. But some Indians tried to fight back. So the government offered men 10 bucks for every Indian you killed. So a guy would walk over to the government and say, I just killed 10 Indians. And the government would say, how do I know that? Bring back a piece of the Indian. So they scalped them. That's where the scalping came from. Guy brought 10 scalps in, he got paid. So your country, my country, all countries do the same thing. They say the sun never sets on England. Where do you think they got all that land? You think people say, come, come to our land and take it away? Of course not. We are all basically corrupt. Now lawyers, there's nothing the matter with lawyers as long as they got their hands in their own pockets. <laughs> so the profession of law, banking, investment brokers, all gone in the future because they do nothing. Now you think, well, maybe politicians are all right. Well, politicians say things people like to hear. That's what they have to say to get elected. Also, if the drug company comes up and says, hey, if you give us a hand, we'll put up $2 million to help you get elected. When you're elected, you owe favors to the drug companies. If the drug companies find out that uh, Celery juice lowers blood pressure. Why should they tell you that? When they can sell drugs for three bucks a piece, a little pill. So they don't do research for the benefit of people. They do research for the benefit of, of profit and nothing more. If your country loved you, which a lot of kids are brought up to believe in, if you serve in the army, that means you put your life up for your country. I think that if there is war, and if you put your life up for your country, the country should subscript all the war industries so no one makes any money out of war. The jeeps, the airplanes, the aircraft carriers, no profit for the duration of the war. Then the war is real. If you took the profit out of war, there'd be no war. What the hell do you think war is? You think we go to another country to bring democracy? We go there because there's oil, resources, or something we need. So, are people good or bad? Well, there's no such thing as good or bad people. If you're brought up in the South as a baby in America, and in some uneducated region, you might become a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And they might say things like this, I'm going to get me a nigger and i go and kick his ass. Is that him speaking or the way he was brought up? So you don't exist, really. The culture grabs you when you're very young and they pump crap into your head. What's the greatest country in the world? Poland, you know, wherever it is. They pump all that into your head. Who loves you more than anybody? Your mom and papa. Of course that's not true. People that treat you well and educate you and serve your needs really love you. Now the word love, another bullshit word. I'm going to try to sell it now. Don't get mad at me. Give me a chance to, to bring forth. I'm sure most of you do not like everything you've ever done. Is that right? You did stupid things in the past. You did things you're sorry about. So sometimes you love yourself very much, sometimes a little less, and sometimes, how did I do that stupid thing? 